Hello everyone, and welcome back to my walkthrough, and you might be wondering, what are the stats for all the clubs that you can get over here? Well, I'll put up a little handy dandy chart up on the screen there, and you'll be able to see for yourself. I'm not gonna keep it on there for too long, because, you know, it's, you can pause the video and stuff like that. But yeah, that's basically the thing that you can, I should say, the things that you can get from each club. But, what's not really listed is that, well, there's some special stuff. Like, say, the spinny clubs. Oh, and by the way, these are not a good idea for Wario, as I thought, by the way. <laughs> I, th I thought it was actually for low, low flight characters, but it actually just makes your flight lower, but gives you more spin. But anyway, there are certain clubs that, you know, you just kinda, kinda gives you special effects if you should, uh, say, use them, namely the spinny type of clubs, so I like to, uh, uh, you know, kinda buy them up and show you them as I go here. So, uh, there's only three of these, I do believe. Uh, so yeah, Super Spin is up next, and let's watch him make those really quick. I have, I still have no idea how he managed to make a whole set of clubs and cool them down so that you can handle them really quick. But no, it it's all works out just fine. Okay, one more. <laughs> okay, there's a backspin set of clubs. This is just like the regular version of the Super Backspin clubs. Da, 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 do, 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 there we go, oh yeah. And I'd like to do the swap swaps, woo! Because I'm gonna show you those special dealios. I, oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you at, a, at a, any sort of course. Probably Palms course, because it's easiest here. Alright, keeping the ball safely away from the trees, I should have a clear shot to the green. And let's see what the backspin looks like here. I'm gonna just kind of plop it on the front there and really maximize that backspin, even though it's not gonna work all that well. And just to see what it looks like, come back, ball, show us what you're made of. Woo! Actually, that looked pretty ornery. I mean, ordinary. Why did I say ornery? I don't know. Hmm. I thought there was a special backspin effect for these particular clubs, or maybe it's just when you use regular backspin. Hold on, I'll see here really quick just to kind of plop things along. I'll just use a regular backspin. I don't know if it'll actually show on the drive though, but we'll see once we get up to the green. Not all clubs do have a special effect, but it's the spin clubs that do have the effects. So let's just see here, and I do regular old backspin here to control the the run out and everything like that as usual, you know, this dealio and yeah, hmm. maybe it's a little more flary, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I, I guess that's his best, I mean the best that you're gonna get out of this, so I'm quitting the tourney and I'm swapping clubs. <laughs> Alright, low fly spin clubs up next here. And let's plop it and stop it. Actually, it's more like plop it and pull it, but <laughs> let's see what they look like on the back spin. Okay, maybe it's. I don't know, it just doesn't really seem all that special if you ask me. <laughs> super backspin time! Well, super backspin club time, I should say, using the uh, super backspin. Special dealio, let's see what this looks like. Oh jeez, that one actually has got a special effect. <laughs> it was like little fireballs, although that might have been because it was just moving so quickly. But yeah, there we go. Now we finally get to see some sort of special effect, so I'm out of here. <laughs> I'll come back to the uh, story mode in just a bit. But for now, I am going to go to the main menu because <laughs> there's some other stuff that I'd like to show you around here. Like, look at look at this stuff here. Remember, I was saying that you could exchange clubs with peeps. Yeah, that's the multiplayer aspects of the game. Well, one of the multiplayer aspects of the game. 
Now, you can also turn the music on and off, but uh, why would you want to do that? That sounds crazy if you want to turn it off. <laughs> uh, there, oh, yeah, you can also delete your save data, but mm, not right now. Not right now, but I will show you something regarding this a little bit later. <laughs> anyway, Taunt and Support Editor. Now, you know what I said? You can actually change... Yeah, the, the stuff that they say. Look at that. And what what is the stuff that they say? Well, this is what this is on your opponent's turn, basically. Like if you are, um, like these are sort of kind of taunts type things, you know, to kind of psych out the opponent. And these are the old encouragement type buttons. So when your opponent is playing, like via link cable, you can press these buttons and they'll pop up on the screen to, to either encourage or distract them. Uh, in fact, I think they could all distract your opponent in all, in all honesty, but yeah. <laughs> and uh, these taunts and uh, supports are also different for Neil and Ella, so I'll put up a little thingy also of uh, Neil up on the screen there, you know, of all the different taunts that he's got, and yeah, there we go, that, that's pretty much good enough, I would say. <laughs> okay, so that is done for the showing. Now for the records. Uh, this is just another place to see what the poop your stuff is going on with the story if you're, if you're not in the story mode and you're kind of thinking of what you want to do one day you're like hmm did I finish all the story stuff or did I do or did I finish all the quick game stuff I don't remember well, I can just go through all this stuff and check it out and uh, you know I like to show you this here these are all the ones that I got on um, just playing the Game Boy Advance like not linking to the GameCube notice the pattern notice the pattern <laughs> So yeah, every other hole is unlocked, uh, you know, a star hole when you do a specific thing that I already covered uh, when you do some Toadstool Tour linkages. And now over here at the highlights, you can actually replay stuff that you have done. Like say, uh, remember that? Remember that uh, birdie that I got over here? Well, we're gonna, we're gonna we can rewatch it any time we would like to. Well, unless it deletes itself. But you, what you can do is uh, choose to lock it down, uh, like so it doesn't delete. Like maybe you had some sort of spectacular hole or a spectacular shot that you want to save for all of eternity. Well, you can press the R button on whichever hole that was and lock it. And then you would, you shouldn't have uh, any sort of uh, deletion problems unless the game itself deletes completely. But yeah, <laughs> so maybe it's not for all of eternity. But yeah, so you can replay stuff. But now you know, I, I never got a hole in one albatross in this walkthrough. Now that that's just a shame, isn't it? Well, I know exactly how I can do that. So first off, I'm gonna go and swap the clubs. You can actually swap and have different, uh, this is something I wanted to show you earlier, but you can actually have different clubs for different, I should say club, different club sets for different ranges, like your wedges can be your super spins and your irons can be the low flies and woods can be the backspin if you're, you know, trying to hold stuff at a distance, but I'm just going for the straight here. <laughs> Because na namely, I'm just going over to the training mode here. Now, I'll start with the hole in one here. It just kind of pick something that looks not so intimidating, like say maybe Ocarina Green. And you could even, you know, s swap around stuff and look, look at this, look at this. You switch around the back tee, normal green, tourney green, pin locations. I like that one though, for, for the sake of this test. Uh, or actually, actually say to show you stuff and whatnot. So as you can see in practice mode, you also get an idea of the bounce. Uh, you know, assuming that everything goes exactly as planned. <laughs> like I miss it, like that won't exactly go all that well. So, but so yeah, the practice mode does kind of have a way of uh, allowing you to sort of tell how the ball is going to exists when, when it uh, drops on the green. That was actually a, a pretty bad example for, uh, yeah, trying to get a hole in one here. So maybe you guys should try a different hole here and then we just kind of do something a little bit differently here. I should actually go, yeah, like back over to, this is going to be trickier than I thought, isn't it? <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, let's see if I can get a hole in one out of this sucker though eventually. I just don't want it to go too far here because it's just going to bounce over the hole so I'm going to control it with the regular backspin here. And no, uh, not quite. You know what? Maybe what I should do is go over to, um, oops. Yeah, the Elf, sh elf Shark Course. And then, like, work on the uh, first hole here. I can just kind of kind of roll it up there over and over until I get it. So let's try it here. Now it's a little bit of a mishit, but it might not matter at such a short distance. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah! <laughs> of course, the first time I come back here, I get it. Okay, so um, what I was thinking of doing is just like re-hitting as many times as I need to when I find a hole that I like to work on getting a hole in one on, but I don't have to! <laughs> now, as for the Albatross, I think I'm gonna go over to Marion Hole 18, because this has got a pretty simple setup for the most part for a hole, and I'm gonna try and get it up as far as humanly possible. I don't know if I can pull this off, though. All I want to do is just get as much distance as I can out of this to try and power through all the obstacles and maybe get on the green in two and chip it in. I think that's going to be in the water. Um, no, I'm going to I'm gonna re-hit that. <laughs> okay, wait, wait a second. Oh, oh, oh. I just, want, I just want to get past all the junk there, if you don't mind here. Oh, that's going to be in the water. <laughs> Obviously, these are riskier shots than I would typically take, but... Uh, wait, wait, no, that's not in the water. Oh, 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 okay, fair way. <laughs> I, I will accept this, and now I will see if I can make it in. Now, this is why I chose this hole, because it's got this flat spot here at the default pin location. And let's see if I can get this sucker to go in here. Might take a bunch of tries, of course, but... That's what the whole re-hit thing is for, to show you what it's all about. And yeah, that one was seemingly under-hits. Re-hits. <laughs> It'll take me a couple tries, as I said, so... Don't, don't worry too much here, I'll get it eventually. Let's just, uh... If I don't get it this time, I think what I'll do is I'll just cut to... The shot I make the albatross, maybe. Well, actually, oh, I might be onto something there if I move it just a little, little smidge to the right from where that was. Like I had it on, uh, oops, there's something like there, and a little smidge to the right there. Like, that's, oh shoot, I overhit that. But yeah, the thing about it is that there's also a human error in a, as a factor here, too. <laughs> so, <laughs> slam dunk it now. <laughs> Okay, maybe, maybe I will have to cut until I get it. I got a better idea! Marion Course Hole 7! <laughs> because the other one's giving me so much ire, I thought I would go with something that has a more flat green, I guess you could say. And now it's just a matter of me getting myself in the right position. And by right position, I mean I can't have one of those two trees in my way, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna re-hit that one, and uh, let's see if I can actually go and get past those trees, like bounce off the fairway or something, and then, oh shoot, that's un severely under-hit. <laughs> well, maybe I can catch the fairway in front of the rough and it'll bounce forward. Oh, that's exactly what happened. Go, 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 ball, go, 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 ball. I don't think that's good enough, but let's see here. No, that is not. <laughs> that's okay, though. I'm gonna go and do the same sort of shots, only maybe with no spin. And just kind of let it bounce and do its own thing, because that, that cursor looks like it's gonna lead me into a good, good position there. I don't know if that's good though, but we're gonna see. Uh, well, I guess we are, okay. Now, so for the, sec for the second shot, I'm gonna try, I guess, and run it in, I, I guess. I think the cursor is aiming directly at it, so let's just go ahead and try and top spin it in, just in case it ends up a little short. Because that line is only really an estimation of sorts, so yeah. Oh! <laughs> and Albatross is basically like a hole in one, except, well, yeah, it just, just says Albatross instead of hole in one. Alright. Now. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you something. Now, don't worry about this. I've got a backup in my save file. 
So everything's okay, but I'm, I am gonna delete this, and we're gonna go over to the story mode here, like we're gonna go and do a whole new game, because there's a little easter egg here that, that takes a little while to show you, because there's a bunch of dialogue when it, regarding this. So let's make a game character here, and here comes you know butler guy, or whoever he is, and then we're gonna select like, the player. Now, watch this, if you hold one direction, he'll get peeved. <laughs> Hurry up and finish! And if you keep going with it, he'll have more dialogue! Yeah, yeah I am. Just, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna have fun with you all day long. Yes, I did! Oh, how did you guess? <laughs> Play with me, what? I'm, I am playing with you. <laughs> I didn't roll my eyes, I'm laughing at you. Be patient, I am being patient with you, with all your angriness. <laughs> The angriness, and eventually he's gonna run out of dialogue, and no, I will not get tired. Uh, but he'll get tired though, and eventually he's gonna run out of dialogue, and then he won't do this anymore. Eventually, <laughs> whatever you like. <laughs> so, oh, 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 we're done, we're done, he doesn't have any more dialogue. So yeah, we select the character, and he goes, yeah, da, 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 da. you won't even do it here now, which is a shame. Which is the same. But anyway, I'm gonna go and put my save file back in the game. <laughs> Alright! So, what am I thinking of doing now? Well, remember those risky clubs? Remember those risky clubs? Well, since I reset my save file, you know, this nice organization club, you know, this a little setup here, I guess I could say, I can get a different set of clubs that I wouldn't normally be able to get on the same save file that I chose the Super Backspin Clubs, because there's only one Ticket D. Oh, and that reminds me, there's actually three A, three Ticket A's, two B's and C's, and then there's only one D. So yeah, I'd like to swap over to the Risky Clubs now. And now, just for the fun of it, I'm gonna show you the power of these clubs, even though they're incredibly risky. And I'm gonna show you their power at... Wait, where is... I forgot the place of... Oh, that's a cuckoo course. I'm looking for the one that has three holes. Was this the one that has three holes? No, that's the one club challenge. Um, is that it? Yes, okay. So now what I'd like to try and do here is go on the easy one here and see... Uh, yeah. <laughs> is see if I can get an eagle on this one. Like, just, just for the heck of it. I don't know if I can, but look at, these, these clubs are red hot. And if you miss hit with them because of their incredibly weak, uh, yeah, impact area, you're probably gonna go out of bounds. <laughs> I'm just kinda, I like the, well, I actually, I don't think I can eagle this one with my current drive distance, so maybe I won't be able to show this. But at the very least, I can show you what these things can do, I guess, when they are hit properly. I mean, if you hit them just right, like that, your ball is going to soar with their 40% increase in power. I just had a 393 yard drive there, and yeah, so yeah, I can't, I can't reach the green in two with, with my current drive distance, which is total shame, total shame, but alas... Alas, I was able to show you the clubs after all. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna be because I'm in the. Oh, I managed to actually. I was gonna say I don't know how it's gonna be because I, if I if you miss hit there in the rough, that's gonna really go offline. Even worse than off a tee. Actually, I think I'm in pretty bad position now. Well, 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 maybe not. But yeah, as you can tell, since uh, I've got so much power here, you can sort of kind of get yourself to go in places that you wouldn't normally be able to go in the same amount of shots, but the issue is that your your shot is really, really off when you miss hit on the impact area on the gauge. Like, look how far back I ended up on that pooper. And yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna try and run this over to the hole here, and see if I can get the well, mm. <laughs> So yeah, they're, they're extremely hard to use, but they have potential to do some crazy stuff. Oh, I actually managed to get it in there, and <laughs> there's an eagle. But yeah, no matter what you get, it'll always say complete, but it's just, a, it's just a thing of that. You can come back here and challenge yourself to try and get as low a score as possible with these clubs, among 
other places because these things are really ridiculous clubs, so... <laughs> yeah, um, another thing that you can do with these clubs is that you can actually swap them around in the uh, actual main game here. Like, let's, like, let's say we're gonna order, um... Where's the super... There we go. Super straight clubs. Now, if we were to say... Uh, th th this is kind of an awkward setup here, though, but this this is like something that experts could do if they would really like to see how low they can do their, their scores and whatnot. So I'm gonna say no to that and instead go to the change clubs. And here is where you can change the defaults of your character. Now, in this case, I'm gonna go for Super Pow. And then I'm gonna, for regular clubs, I'm gonna go, I should say for irons, I'm gonna go for the basics. And then for the wedges, I'm gonna go for the super straight. Now, obviously, this is going to cause there to be pretty large gaps between the clubs. So you have awkwardness between the club distances. So, what can you do with this? Well, the thing about this sort of setup, and this is the setup that I did when I got the that record on the, that Bowser special Nintendo tournament championship thing um, is what you do is if you should miss the green you have the super straight shots you have you know you have the super straight clubs to give you that right trajectory to try and get the ball in on a chip in <laughs> seriously that was my plan and it worked now, it's not a guaranteed thing, mind you, but it made it a whole lot easier when I was playing it on Toadstool Tour. Now, let, let's just say, for instance, I'm gonna miss the green here. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna purposely miss the green back over here. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna go over the back, and then I'm gonna be like, oh no, I, I, I missed, and then, yeah, and then I gotta hit back into the hole if I wanna get a really low score. So now I've got my super straight clubs to do my bidding here. And then maybe I can get this to chip in because I've got the super straight, super straightness and see it works. But but the thing about this is if you are say coming to coming up to a par five and you're expecting to have a straight shot like with an iron or something like that, but you end up further away than you think and you have to use a wood. If you are expecting a straight shot and you have to use the four wood and there's a tree over in your ball's trajectory, you know, the way that it bends, you might have yourself a problem. So you might have to, you know, sort of kind of plan for that possibility as well. Or just hope for the best. <laughs> so a setup like this is in itself its own risk, but it does have its own benefits. And that that is what I aim to take advantage of when I'm really aiming to get an extremely low score. So this is what I was aiming to do here. I, th I actually think I used the, just the regular straight clubs and not the super straight clubs. But I don't really think it matters because the, the whole idea is just to make your ball straighter so that you can get your ball into the hole in as few strokes as possible if you miss the green. So in, in that case, I was just able to kind of kind of birdie along. Okay, now this this might be a good situation to, to explain the difference that you might like have a, a transition point between the two like okay I'm gonna hit my drive over here and I think this will this will end up being about what I'm looking for uh, to show you what I mean here uh, okay so I, I got a tree that would be in oh okay it is I was gonna say it's in my way if I was using the uh, the super power clubs but if I were to actually end up going with those super power clubs and I ended up straight uh, actually, that probably wouldn't matter either way because that tree's in my way. But what I'm saying is that the uh, the super power clubs have the way of uh, allowing, I mean, uh, kind of putting you in a situation where you're between the three iron and the four wood, and you could sometimes end up having to hit an awkward spot of the gauge, or you have to hit um, ar around the tree using something at the bottom right corner, like changing the shot like I showed you before, you know, make it a draw or fade on command, that sort of thing. But the thing about it is that you won't exactly know when that's gonna happen because, you know, human error and miss hits and stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, having being able to change your club setups between three different sets of your bag really opens up a lot of possibilities. And so I highly recommend that you 
go through all the clothes that you like to try, like, like say you like the super straight clothes, but you don't like the uh, uh, power of them, and so you maybe you like decide maybe I'll have them only for oh really? <laughs> so maybe I'll maybe you'll decide maybe I'll only have them for the irons and wedges instead of. My setup that has the super pow and regular clubs for the irons, and then the super straight for the wedges. You know, it's I, well, the reason why I have this particular setup is because I figured that the gaps are smaller this way. <laughs> because if you went from here to a super straight, you know, with that uh, cut back and power and everything like that, it would be a huge difference between the four wood and the, and the three iron. So. I figure just having the regular clubs and just having a straight character shot is a decent balance for that. But, you know, it's it's all personal preference, so it's something that you're going to have to play around with to find out ways to get yourself the lowest score humanly possible. And that is all that I have to say for this walkthrough, believe it or not. Yeah, this walkthrough took a lot, a lot longer than I was expecting it to take, but there is a lot to this golf game. It's It's the biggest Mario Golf game in existence, and a lot bigger than I remember. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I have, have went through all this stuff before, but maybe I never really realized how big it was because I just had so much fun playing it. And because, you know, I would just continue to play it, and, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm, I, it just, it's just a game that I love to play, and I just, I totally flubbed that shot up while I was talking, but that is okay. But yeah, it's it's not it's not a game that you just get tired of, and that that's what I really love about this game. Is you always come across something different every round. You'll have different situations. You'll you know, like you can you can make you can try and plan your holes to the best of your ability. But the thing about it is that if the wind is in a different direction or your character's stats change after a level up or something like that, it'll be different. And yeah, it's just. A constantly changing thing and not to mention player skill is a factor and that's another thing that I like about it because when you have player skill being a factor it's it's a perfectionist game to try and get as low as possible and that that tweaks my OCD in an incredible way <laughs> but anyway I think you get the idea of why I love this game and why it's an awesome game and all the tips that I could pretty much show you as at least as much as I could for as many situations as that could possibly come up. So I think I'm gonna finally end off the walkthrough here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next walkthrough. Still not golf season though.